Hello, gorgeous. Welcome to Girls That Manifest. On this show, I will teach you how to manifest an expansive and extraordinary life beyond your wildest dreams. We will go deep on all things mindset, manifestation, law of assumption, spirituality, and metaphysics. I can't wait to bring you this content. So grab your matcha mimosa or macchiato and let's get into the show. Hello, my loves. Today, we're going to be talking all about selling with ease. So you might be like the many, many other business owners out there who are kind of terrified of selling, whether it's fear of coming off as too pushy, coming off as needy, looking like you're greedy and always hungry for money. This very fear can stop business owners in their tracks from making money making more money actually. And if this is how you feel too, I totally understand. I know I've been there. I've so been there. But a mindset shift I really want you to have is that you actually sell every single day. You do. You don't realize it, but you do. But you might not recognize it as selling, but more as sharing. Like when you tell your best friend about the latest Seven Sisters book that you're reading and she goes and buys it, that's selling. Or when you recommend your niece for a job at a local cafe and she gets it, that's selling. Or if you share your famous lemon cheesecake recipe with your grandmother and she makes it, that's selling. In fact, that's actually a successful transaction of your selling. And it's even the same process when you convince your water resistant child to take a shower. I don't know how many times my mother (laughs) had to bribe me with treats just to have a shower when I was a kid. Or a really good example is say you're renovating your house and you convince your partner or more persuade him or her to choose the kitchen tiles that you want instead of what they want. It's all selling. You sell with ease every single day and you don't even realize it. This is how normal it is to sell. You're not trying to con people when you recommend them your favorite movie, just like you're not trying to con people when you're asking them for the sale for the value that you provide. It's an even exchange. They're not just giving you money for the sake of it. You have something that they want, you provide a solution for them, and you sell it. They give you money in exchange for it. That is a fair exchange. At the end of the day, you do have to sell if you want a functioning business. You you have to get used to it. You have to normalize it. So you might as well start taking on this mindset shift to help you get used to it. Because one day it's gonna be so easy. Selling isn't even going to feel hard. It's going to be very natural, very normal, because you've practiced it. But in saying that, you're not always going to be actively selling. And you should know by now that I completely encourage you to be able to make money in all the ways, not just through actively selling, like running a launch in real time, but through automated systems, right? Now, that doesn't mean that you can hide from selling (laughs) for the rest of your life. You still have to learn how to sell, but creating systems that enable you to make money without you having to constantly be selling can help set you up for success and can help you get used to selling while you're still trying to adjust. So with saying that, I wanna help you with three really easy, non-salesy sales strategies that you can implement today. They're so easy, you probably have implemented at least one of them. And this is going to start helping you make money making easier in your business. All right, tip number one, use a PS in your emails. What? Why? A simple PS? How can that be a sales strategy? Well, did you know that 90% of your subscribers read the PS before they actually read the email? Or you didn't? Well, now you know. PS is a fantastic non-invasive sales strategy that you might notice I use constantly in my emails. And if you have purchased something from me through that PS section, then you know it's effective. (laughs) A lot of the times when I don't feel like doing a massive sales pitch in an email, I'll just put it in the PS. And believe me, it works. So what I recommend you to do is this week, drop a PS at the bottom of one of your newsletter emails offering something that you're selling. Maybe you wanna offer a percentage off your product, maybe you're launching something new, maybe you just wanna do it for fun, whatever it is, drop a PS promoting one of your digital products this week. Use something like PS, I'm running a 24 hour flash sale on my product XYZ. Click here to learn more about it. That's as simple as it needs to be. Use any variation of that and play around with it. It doesn't have to be those exact words, but just try it, just get used to it. Try that for the week. 
Hell, try it for a month if you want and let me know if you get sales as a result of that. You're welcome, by the way. <laughs> All right, tip number two, add a promotional graphic at the bottom of your emails. So this is something I actually saw Laura Belgray do years ago and she's still doing it today. And that is she's created a promotional graphic for, I think it's her ebook, one of her products, but I'm pretty sure it's an ebook, an ebook that I bought as an effect of seeing that graphic at the bottom of her emails. And it's a simple graphic that just has a picture of her product, then the title of it, or some like really great headline. She is a copywriter, so she's really good with her headlines and titles and stuff. And that's it. That's it. You can click on it and it takes you straight to the sales page. How I recommend you to do that is go to Canva. Yes, the free Canva that we all love to use. You can either use the email template graphics for their, for their size, or you can create your own one. I know the width is 600 pixels, so as long as you've got the width, then you're fine. And then play around with it. Use Canva's free templates, free tools, free elements, and create a graphic promoting your product and add it to the bottom of your emails, of every single email. If you have one of the email service providers who enable you to create a template of your email, pop it in there. And then you don't have to think about it ever again. You, every time you send an email, that graphic is going out. The link to your sales page is going out with it and people have the opportunity to check out your sales page. You're getting in front of people's eyes in a non-invasive way every single time you send an email. That makes you want to send an email even more, doesn't it? And the third and final one is add additional payment gateways to your business. What does that mean? What, what is a payment gateway? Well, you know, like PayPal and Stripe, those are payment gateways. I wanna tell you a little story. For the first two years of my business, I only accepted payment through PayPal. I didn't really know there was more ways that you could take on payment and I didn't really understand it as well because you know, new to all the online world. So I was like, mm, it's a bit, might be a bit shady, a bit dodgy, but no, it, it wasn't. And at the time, Stripe started like coming up in the ranks and was suddenly like this really cool new payment gateway that you could use. And so I decided to test it out. After a week of implementing Stripe, I made 700 extra dollars in my business just from adding that option, 700. And what I didn't realize is that even though PayPal is you know, an international payment option that people can use, it is banned in some countries. And also some people can't use it. For some reason, their banks don't allow them to or their countries don't allow them to. Either way, I found that I was blocking some people from being able to buy from me in my business. So adding that has actually enabled me to make more money and open up my business to a lot more people throughout the world. So your action step is to have a look at different payment gateway options that are available for you. I'm sure you probably use PayPal and you might even use Stripe. If you're not, please get set up with Stripe, but check out other options like Alipay, Amazon Pay, Authorize.net, and test them out for 30 days and see what your results are. It will take less than five minutes to implement any one of these things, but it will allow more people to purchase from you. Therefore, you can make more sales in the long run. And it's non-invasive. It's just offering more options to your people. All right, how simple are those? So simple, right? Super simple. I encourage you to try them out and let me know your results. Let me know what happens. I would love to hear back from you. As you start to sell more, you'll become more confident in selling what you're selling. And that dynamic will start to add on top of itself. It will start to stack, right? You will become more confident. It will get more easy. It will feel more flowy. It will feel less awkward, but it can only get to that place when you do it. So I know selling might be scary for you right now, but if you want to sell with ease, you've got to practice selling so that it can become easy, <laughs> okay? <laughs> now you might be thinking, what's next? Well, my amazing course, The Six Figure Society, is all about helping you create five figures in revenue every single month from automated strategies and active strategies. So it helps you create many different options for people to pay you, many different avenues in which you can be paid for at many different price points. I have students who get results who actually start making sales in the very, very first week. If you wanna learn more about the course, make sure you click the button below. Make sure you check that out. And if the Six Figure Society sounds like it's for you, make sure you take up this offer because it's a good one. And thank you once again for attending this workshop. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you drop a comment below to share your insights from this training and I hope to see you around soon.